Becoming financially free is the most important that one can do for themselves in their life. That means being able to do what you want, when you want, without worrying about how much it costs. And my goal of this channel is to help every single one of you guys achieve that kind of freedom. It is literally life-changing. And this channel has exploded recently over the past few months. We now have 85,000 subscribers. Welcome everybody that's new. The VVIP group on Telegram is hitting a thousand people in there that are absolutely loving it. But I believe it's, a, it's very, very important for you guys to understand who I am. And so today I'm gonna tell you my story of how I came from nothing to being a multimillionaire through crypto. And it's to show you that it wasn't easy. And hopefully this inspires a lot of you guys to go down a similar path. <laughs> I'm also gonna talk to you guys about a lot of the mistakes I made. And the reason why I'm making this channel, so you guys hopefully don't have to learn a lot of the same mistakes that I did. Back when I got started getting crypto in 2012 and 2013, there were no YouTube videos on it. There was no instructions, no tutorials. There was a lot of problems back then. And I have been through the gauntlet in this one. And so today, my friends, I'm going to tell you my story of my journey through this space, what is very important to me, and I hope that you guys learn a lot from it. So first of all, let's go back <laughs> to... To little Kyle, uh, who always wanted to be successful, always wanted to have money. I understood from a very young age that the more money that you had, the more money and things that you could do. And so my very first entrepreneurial business was in middle school. There was actually a candy called Raven's Revenge. They sold it in little test tubes. And uh, long story short, it was, it was being sold for $1.25 at the local ice cream store. And guys, I grew up in a town of 8,000 people. So in middle school, what I did is I figured out how to recreate this candy using powdered Gatorade and some uh, food coloring. And I used the test tube to fill up little baggies. And I started selling this at school for a dollar. I undercut the competition. And it was going really well. I was making like 15, 20 bucks a day. And then the principal called me into the office and said, uh, Kyle, we love your entrepreneurial spirit, but you cannot be selling bags of powder at school. Okay, so that was a failure of my first business. And then... I've done so many other things since then, guys. And this is the, the lesson number one is you cannot be afraid of failing because failing is going to happen to everybody. So you have to be willing to fail and understand that nine out of 10 businesses fail. So you have to be willing to fail at least nine times if you want to be successful. And I have failed <laughs> at least that many times, maybe even more. But I promise you, if you keep going, if you keep trying, that you will eventually succeed. So in 2002 was the first time in my life that I really got into uh, figuring out how the body works because I was very, very overweight in school and all my friends had six packs. And so I got into kind of like biology and understanding how the human body worked. Fast forward, that was just a passion of mine, right? Like, uh, you know, and so I learned about the fact that I was deficient in testosterone and that I had too much est estrogen. So I fixed that problem. Um, I got in better shape. And through that, I learned about anti-aging and regenerative medicine. Uh, I ended up working for a billionaire for a while. And after that, I spun up my own company called the Reverse Aging Institute. I'm going to show you a little clip from that. I'm, I'm going to show you guys, walk you guys through some of my, <laughs> some of my earlier days because I think it's, a, it's, it's, it's been my experience. And this company uh, was something I did out of passion. I've got a passion for longevity, and I, you'll, that'll come through in the story here a little bit later. But uh, let me show you. This was this company allowed me to to exit and buy my first Bitcoin. So, um, and really, it was for the branding. I'll just show you the first little clip of it. Over the past century, medical science has made major discoveries in the fight against disease, springboarding our knowledge of human health into an exciting future. However, there is one critical piece of the puzzle that we have yet to solve: a common collective fate of aging. Why do we age? Why does our body begin to deteriorate until it eventually shuts down? The medical profession and industry both have been focusing on treating diseases rather than getting to what's the underlying causes of those diseases. So in some sense, every cell has a biological clock. It is doomed to die 
after about 60 reproductions. We are now finding pieces of the Fountain of Youth, tantalizing clues that we might be able to actually unravel the aging process. We are now at a time in the history of our culture when the solutions to aging and death are on the horizon with proper planning, diagnosis, nutrition and the support of trained doctors and researchers we can prepare our bodies for a transition into this bold new frontier of medicine the reverse aging institute brings together the most advanced med and that was my first company ladies and gentlemen and really so a, a, a guy from this was i created this in i think 2011 or no 2012 and I was also fascinated about Bitcoin at the time, right? So I just started learning about Bitcoin. By 2013, somebody uh, wanted to open a reverse aging institute in Beverly Hills. They loved this video and they loved the branding around the company. Uh, the company didn't have, like, it was a consulting business. It was me consulting high net worth individuals. And so I was able to sell it for about for $120,000. The branding is what he wanted to buy. And I used that in 2013 to buy Bitcoin. And at the same time, I started building World Super Lotto. And so you can see, I started building this in 2013. It was the world's first Bitcoin lottery. And you can see the very first post on Facebook was April 10th, 2014. It took me about a year to build this with an Indian dev shop. My first time building any technology and anything, any software. But you can see, yeah, uh, well, I'll just show you some of the, uh, the photos over here. And um, this was my first experience, and you can go. See, you can go look on the Bitcoin Talk forum. You can see sometimes. Uh, you can see some of the the discussions that we had back there. Um, you can see this is uh, some screenshots of the the actual lottery machine that we had. I'll show you in just a second here. <laughs> uh, a lot of people on the Bitcoin Talk forum said this was a scam, and they dared me to take a picture of the actual lottery machine and post it on the forum. So I did that. And uh, you can see this is how the website looked, where you could pick your own numbers. And very cool. Like it, it mimicked the California Super Lottery. And so basically what happens, you'd, you'd spend 0 0.001 Bitcoin to buy one ticket. You could buy as many tickets as you want to. See how many tickets do you want to buy. And you can go and you can, you know, you can either do a quick pick where it randomly picks the numbers for you. Or you could pick your own numbers. And, uh, and so that was a really good experience. I'm going to show you guys. I'll show you now. <laughs> <laughs> the very cheesy video for Odds it. Odds of you being struck by lightning are 3 million to 1. Odds of dying from parts falling off an airplane, 10 million to 1. But your lowest odds? Winning the typical lottery at a whopping 178 million to 1. What if the odds of winning the lottery were more like odds of winning an Olympic medal? That's almost 300 times more likely than winning your average lottery. Well, now they are. With odds of winning at 1 in 680,000, the World Super Lotto has an instant online payout and is the first worldwide online lottery. No government regulations, no long-term payouts. It is a lottery for the people, by the people. The jackpot you win is the jackpot you get world super lotto will not withhold taxes from your winnings so now your odds are more like your phone auto correcting you to say ducking i just won the ducking lottery world super lotto for the people by the people so yeah that's the uh the first lottery and all the was i never use facebook i don't what are, what are all these videos over here anyway um <laughs> Fucking Facebook. Uh, anyway, okay, so um, yeah, this is you can see the uh, the um, Twitter was accounted in April 2014 when we created it, and let me just show you an example of one of the drawings. So I used, I don't know why YouTube took these all down. Uh, they're all gone. It's the intro. Welcome to the 61st World Super Lotto live drawing. It is May 16th, 2015, and we have a 22 Bitcoin jackpot for you today. Let's go ahead and refresh the Bitcoin price right now compared to the US dollar. It is, at this very moment, 235 and 2 cents. 
the time right now in beautiful San Jose, Costa Rica is... Well, let's see if we can get to load one more <laughs> time. There it goes. 3.03. Let's go ahead and browse on over here. So I'll explain to you why I did that. So uh, I was doing this whole thing and I wanted to prove that this was actually live. So what I did, you can see, is I, I had a tablet next to the machine. And on the tablet, on the tablet, uh, I had time and date on uh, .com loaded. And I had next to it uh, blockchain.info so you can see the exact price of Bitcoin. You can see the date that I was filming this one. Uh, the price of Bitcoin was $235. And then I would... Here, show you the balls ready yep. to be dropped for this 22 Bitcoin jackpot. There you have it. There's all 40 balls. Let's drop them down in three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> First ball looks like it's going to be 10. Let's see, because of Kim says, yep, 10. Second ball looks like it might be 27. Close up cam says 27. Let's see what the third ball is. Looks like a 38. <laughs> Fourth ball is... Looks like it could be 28. 28. And the fifth and final ball is going to be 30. There you have it, folks. There's your winning numbers for today. 10, 27, 38, 28, and 30. Congratulations to all of our winners. We'll yeah, and, see you and, next and, week. And that's it, guys. So... Uh, so <laughs> that, that, that was what I did. And I, I did the lottery and you can see like, this is the, when you, when you pick the things that the lottery tickets, you would get, um, a ticket emailed to you like this, no matter how many lottery tickets you picked. And, uh, and yeah, so that's, that's what I got to do guys. And then, um, this is, yeah, this is the website here. I am using way back machine to see it. And you can see now on the point zero zero one Bitcoin per ticket. So I was able to earn some Bitcoin this way, other than selling reverse aging Institute, uh, I also built this lottery and, uh, and you know, I, I, it went all the way until, um, you know, it went all the way until January 2015, I, I no, sorry, 2015 at some point. So anyway, so after that guys, uh, that, that was 2015. After that, I was the CEO of a project called Credits by Pythia. It was a layer one blockchain and, uh, and I was excited to do that because this lottery wasn't really working out because uh, it was so early and there wasn't so many people in in crypto at the time. But we might be working on version 2.0 of this for paid network. Maybe. Wouldn't it be nice to bring this back with a massive jackpot now that the world is in crypto and for paid network? Hmm. Might be a little bit of a leak there for you guys and another product. So anyway, uh, nostalgia, nostalgia. So after that, I was trying to figure out what to do, guys, with my life. So um, yeah, so I was CEO of this project called Credits by Pythia. It was a layer one blockchain. And I was heavily invested. I invested money into it. I, I came on board as a COO. And I spent about six months there before the founder of that company actually rug pulled us all. All of the employees raised money and just disappeared. So that didn't work out. This was the end of 2015 and the beginning of 2016. And oddly enough, at the time, I guess after all of my, all of my entrepreneurial attempts, uh, Bitcoin had just hit $1,000 each. And luckily in the earlier days, I made a decision to exit fiat. So when I sold Reverse Aging Institute, I sold it and bought Bitcoin. And I didn't have any more fiat left. And through that time, I have been working on 
just just that Bitcoin that I earned, you know, as it appreciated, I was able to sell some along the way to fund startups and do things like that. And as we got into so and I went to a bunch of crypto conferences too, guys, I made this my life. If you want, I'm, I'm highly encouraging you guys from a personal perspective, the best thing I ever did was to go full time crypto. But you must have conviction. You must believe in it. You must understand it. I read the Bitcoin white paper many, many, many times until I understood it. And then when I found out that, that WikiLeaks, something I believed was doing a heroic job, when I found out that they could, not, could, no, could no longer accept donations from Visa, MasterCard, Western Union, banks, PayPal, anything, because what they were doing was leaking embarrassing documents about the US government, and the only way for them to continue to accept donations was through Bitcoin. That was my aha moment when I just said, this is going to be something big. So you must have conviction. And I went full time, guys, and I have been full time in this industry since, well, 2012, I first learned about Bitcoin. But in 2013, when I first started building World Super Lottery, that's when I went full time crypto. So it has been life changing for me, but it's taken a very long time. And I've been an evangelist for this as well. The whole time I've been trying to tell everybody, you know, telling my friends and my family and everybody, and nobody wanted to listen to me. I was finally able to convince my mother in 2015 to convert her IRA, uh, her retirement account from crappy fiat into, into Bitcoin, which she did, which was turned out to be a very good move. But everybody else around me didn't want to hear about it. And that's all I wanted to do. I, all, I, all I wanted to do was be around people that were talking about crypto and Bitcoin. So in 2000 and any conference I went to before 2016 or do, before 2017 was surrounded by amazing people. Everybody wanted to build something disruptive. Everybody wanted to be part of this whole, you know, revolution. And everyone, wa and so uh, I love going to conferences. I love being around that. But in 2017, sorry, let me just change the settings here, guys, because it is... There we go. So in 2017, I went to a conference and I realized that everything had changed. People just wanted to make money and I wanted to be around disruptive people. Like I want to be surrounded by people who wanted to build stuff and really, uh, really help innovate on decentralization. And so remember that credits didn't work out in end of 2015. And so in 16 and 17, I was kind of trying to find what to do with my life because at that point, my Bitcoin had appreciated to, the, to a place where I would never have to work again if I didn't want to. And like I said at the beginning of the video, the most important thing that you can do for yourself is to become financially free. So as much as you like to help other people, get yourself to a place first where you, are, you can take care of yourself. And that happened to me in the beginning of 2016. And then I went through a phase where I'm trying to discover what I'm going to do with my life. So I took up photography as a hobby. And that was amazing. I went to the Northern Lights. I did, did a bunch of stuff. And then in, it had been a while. Like I, so I was, I was uh, again, surrounded by people who didn't care about it. Like when I went to, so in 2016 and 17, I didn't really go to conferences. I was doing a lot of photography. And just meditating on life, didn't think about what I was going to do. And in 2018, I finally went to a conference again where, in, in, northern, in northern Thailand, where I was surrounded by crypto people who made me feel at home. And I decided what I wanted to do was be around crypto people all the time. So what did I do? <laughs> so what I do is I started a, I, I took over an entire resort in Thailand, in Koh Phangan, and I shut it down to the public and I invited a bunch of crypto entrepreneurs. Now, this is one of my biggest learning lessons, but also I wouldn't, I wouldn't take it back, right? And so you can see Cointelegraph did this piece about me. It's two piece. Um, and basically what I did is I, I built a crypto community and I had it for about eight months, had a bunch of people show up, Tone Vase, Willy Woo, Didi from Bitcoin Family, uh, uh, Function, as you know him, I'm the F NFT guy, Michael, uh, Michael Nye. Uh, a bunch of people showed up. Emerson Sparts, one of the most amazing people I've ever met in my life. And I had to spend a lot of Bitcoin to operate this thing. And, you know, one of the big, and, and 
and I, this is when Master Ventures was first built, the, the, my, my company. And I did a lot of things quickly without thinking. And this ended up costing me a fortune because it was, it was a bear market. 2018, Bitcoin was like $3,000 each. And I was selling a lot of Bitcoin to pay for this thing. I was very generous. I invited people for free. I provided, and I, and I thought we were going to build something amazing together. I thought people were going to work on the things that I wanted to do. But there was no management. There was no organization. And worst of all, I had a horrible partner who was a, basically a con man, made me feel like a, like a true family member. And then at the end of the day, tried to take everything, ended up stealing 19 Bitcoin and had essentially turned this entire idea into a shit show. So this was Master Ventures 1.0. I fired everybody and started fresh again. And, um, but again, it was an experience and I learned so much from it, guys. And I'll show you a quick video about what House of Dow, which is my, my vision of the future of still what I want to do and one of the reasons I'm still building this community with you guys, sharing it, and my, my long-term vision of something I want to do soon. No, not soon, like, like in two bull runs. I don't know if there's going to be copyright on this thing for music or not, which is kind of unfortunate. If there is a copyright for music, guys. Anyway, how about this? How about I just put the link in the description below? Plus, this thing seems like it's lagging pretty bad. So anyway, I'll play it without music, guys. But you can see this is a promo commercial we had for the uh, for the event. Yeah, it's lagging. So let me let me just pause it, and then I'll let you guys. I'll, I'll put a link to it in the description below if you want to see it. And so what I decided to do, guys, what I decided to do uh, when I in 2017, I saw a bunch of people coming into the space, right, and. It bothered me because they were because there was a bunch of people, professionals or, or experts on stage, who didn't know what they were talking about. And so, what I, I had this when I went to that crypto conference in Northern Thailand in 2018, I had this epiphany. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to leave the United States because I felt, felt it was dangerous to build crypto there, and I wanted to go and I wanted to be and I wanted to start being more public about things. And so I started speaking at events. And I felt like my job was to educate people on a massive level. And if someone was saying something nonsense, then I wanted to speak out against them. And so as you can see, I've been speaking at conferences for a very, very long time. This is an unreleased speaker reel that we're working on. There's a lot of edits still to go, but I'll show you guys here firsthand. All right, let's do this, guys. We got everybody here who doesn't understand what that means, what is play to earn, and is play to earn the phrase that we actually should be using. Well, they recently have a new NFT in their wallet. They must have purchased it or are interested. That's not the case. Scammers will definitely drop NFTs into people's wallets in order to trick you. Welcome to the future. Welcome to Metacon. We are ushering in a new era of the internet, Web 3.0. This is a big deal for us, the world. For startups in the space was assistance going to market. Because there's a lot of new people who want to enter the market and they want to give it a shot. They want to try to be the next Google or Apple or Microsoft. If we want our future youth to be the future Elon Musk's and of the world, like you said, they need the freedom to create some space to be able to do that. Blockchain was made to, in order to trust code and you don't have to trust anybody, right? Just be careful and ask questions on everybody. It's just because someone's on TV, you never know what they're doing. And this is why we created blockchain was so we don't have to trust centralized intermediaries who are always prone to some type of manipulation or scandal. And most of the time when we rely on somebody, some centralized entity with our custody, with trust, they end up violating that trust. And this is the reason why Bitcoin and blockchain were invented. And so if you have the opportunity, if you have an option to trust code or trust a person, always trust code because you can verify it. 
And so that's my objective, guys, is, is to come here and I, I want to build meaningful things and I want to educate as well. Like that's why I'm here. And of course, I want to make more money because I want to build House of Dow still. And House of Dow will be a combination of the two things I love the most, longevity, regenerative medicine, and innovation. Uh, it'll be blockchain, it'll be AI, and longevity, and other things like that together. But this will, I have to kind of semi-retire uh, before I start this community, because if you want to build a community and people, to a physical community, you have to be front and center and be able to spend time with people there. And right now, I don't have the time to do it because I have now Master Ventures or as, as we are we, sorry, as we are rebranding to MB Global, and you'll, I'll explain that to you in just a second. But again, this is just a little bit, one more little clip of a panel to kind of um, that I, I hosted at AIBC in Malta. It had Maddie Greenspan, uh, who was from, um, I forget what it was called. It's a big company, Ian Bellina, et cetera. But this is me moderating. And I wanted to show you just kind of like my, me on stage, how I'm trying to not be politically, political, politically correct, but trying to get people to tell the truth, trying to call out bullshit, things like that. Well, Chasse, uh, Master Ventures. And uh, just, just to be transparent, as I always am, this is my first panel I'm moderating. Uh, but usually panels, they feel like pretty boring. And so on this panel, uh, I hope we all respect each other, but I also encourage, uh, if, if someone says something you don't agree with, please speak out. I encourage healthy debate. Uh, I want to get rid of political correctness. Uh, I'm sick and tired of uh, people just agreeing to things that are misinformation. Uh, I think that we're all very intelligent people on this panel here. And uh, please don't be polite. I'll respect each other but also don't be polite. I disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so anyway, so, so that's, uh, yeah, that, that's that. Now, Master Ventures has rebranded into Master Ventures Global or MV Global. And so to show you kind of where we're coming along, I have grown up a lot in this space, you know, in the days of Utopia, which was the video of, of Copenhagen that I showed you. Um, you know, I didn't have so much responsibility. I didn't have so many people on payroll. I didn't have so many people to support. I didn't have a big community like I do now. And so I feel a lot more responsibility today. And I've also had a lot of bad apples come in. And, you know, the more successful that you become, the more people that want to bring you down, the more people that get jealous, the more people that try to come and leech off of you in life. And so now, you know, in this last bear market, we sp I spent a lot of time you know, bring in some of the bar the best people. And I want to, you know, if, if some of my team from any of the companies are watching this, you know, you're here today because you're adding tremendous amount of value and I thank you guys. And, you know, and so right now I feel like we're extremely well prepared because we've been working every single day of the bear market to prepare for this upcoming bull market. And so Master Ventures or MV Global now is, 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 my baby, right? And everything that we're doing here is my baby. And I'll explain to you. So MV zero to one is conceive, build, launch, and scale new ventures. And I'll show you that that's Commonwealth. That's, uh, that's MV Capital, which is our, our fund, our LP fund that we have. And then MV Advisory, you guys will see me on several projects, uh, you know, the ones that I really want to be part of from an advisory perspective as well, or maybe other, other people from uh, MV are advising as well. One of the most significant things for me was the ability to invest in projects very early. And you can see that I was, I was very fortunate very early in 2015 and 16, for example, uh, to be able to invest in things like Kraken, Coinbase, Ripple, Circle, which is US dollar, USDC, Bitfinex, which is USDT, <laughs> Bitstamp, Securitize, which would be one of the biggest players in real world assets, and many, many more companies. Now, this opportunity was made possible through me for me because of a company called Bank to the Future. Now, Bank to the Future gave people like me the ability to invest early alongside other investors into some of the biggest companies that are here today, many, many unicorns. Now, by that time, I was already considered in America an accredited investor, right? But I know that a lot of the world isn't. In fact, probably 99% of the world isn't. But it was very, very, very important for me and, and meaningful. And I, was, I felt very blessed to have the opportunity given to me on a silver platter to invest in some of the best 
companies in the crypto world, right? I have, I mean, my Kraken investment is up like 20,000%. Coinbase is like the same. You know, Ripple, when they go public, is going to be huge. Circle, again, USDC, um, you know, Bitfinex, USDT. So I was early in a lot of these guys. And this is why I think that Commonwealth is going to be one of the biggest projects in the crypto space. This is going to allow you guys the same opportunity I got, but you will not have to be a credit investor. And you will have curated deals delivered to you on a silver platter where you can get in at the very first stages with all the other best VCs in the world. So I'm very, very passionate about Commonwealth, very passionate about Commonwealth, and it's such a good project, it's so meaningful, and it's meant to help everybody in the world. I think this is gonna be one of the biggest things because never in the world before have you been able to have the same kind of privilege that other VCs do, and we are opening up democratizing access to everybody out there. As you can see, our motto, sh -sh, cross out the W on Wall Street, welcome to All Street, baby, where everybody's invited, everybody's welcome to get to participate in the best deals, the same way that I was able to through Bank to the Future. Paid Network, as you guys know, this is our, our launch pad, and in 2021, we launched it, and it was one of the top three launch pads in 2021. In 2024 and 2025, my goal is for it to be the number one launch pad. And so I sat and I thought the entire bear market, how do I make this the number one launch pad? What problems did we have? You know, what problems did launch pads have in general? They weren't scalable. They had big higher barriers to entry. People got priced out of them. You know, they weren't fair. So, in January, guys, in just about a week, 10 days or something, I'm so excited to reveal to you guys what paid ignition our launch pad is going to be and how I believe it'll be far superior to every other launch pad and will be the number one launch pad in the crypto market in this coming bull run and in the future. We will, we will not stop innovating. We will continue to innovate, but the amount of innovation that we've done over the bear market is incredible. And Fluid AI, guys, Fluid AI, this is going to be, imagine it's one trading platform that's going to aggregate liquidity from every centralized exchange, every decentralized exchange, and it guarantees you the deepest liquidity and the best price. It'll, it'll look and feel like a normal exchange, but there will not be any counterparty risk, centralized counterparty risk. You won't have to put your, your assets on an exchange. And you'll never have to go to another DEX ever again. You'll never have to go to another SEX ever again. You can just go to Fluid and trade and guarantee the best prices with the best liquidity. You have a full featured platform too. Uh, you know, limit orders, stop losses, leverage, DEX, whatever. So these are the three projects plus this channel that I'm focused on. But, but to be clear, guys, each of these companies, Commonwealth, Pay, Fluid, they all have the, a, a big team working on these things. They were just ideas in my head initially, this is what the MV zero to one is. We conceptualize ideas, we build out the MVPs, we hire teams that can run it, successful teams, raise money and take them to market. So I'm very, very excited to bring these things to you guys. Now let's talk about this channel and why I'm doing this. So as you can see guys, <laughs> I started this channel and, this, and we need a new banner up here too. I started this channel a long time ago, over three years ago, and it's evolved a lot. And it took me a while to try to find what I could provide, right? And, and what, what my identity was gonna be about. And, you know, so, so far I've got 508 videos, but it was only about six months ago that I really started taking it seriously and building a real community because I, I thought, out of these nearly 12 years in the crypto space, I have learned so much. I've been hacked. Personally, I was hacked. Uh, I lost $30,000 worth of Bitcoin in my blockchain.info wallet in 2015. Imagine how much I would be worth today. We, I've been humiliated you know, like, and, and, and called names like a hacker, a scammer, or blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, these are all things that we had to learn. As you guys may or may not know, and we launched Paid Network in January 2021. 
in, I think, March, there was an exploit, right? And it wasn't, and, and a lot of people pointed the finger and said that I did it. But we did forensic science, everyone, and, and we found out that it was the dev shop that we had hired had actually done the exploit. And so this was a learning lesson that we always have to do, be better at managing these kind of things. I didn't know, you know, it's brand new to a token world and things like this, but we made sure, and we, we didn't sleep for a week, the whole team, to get things back up again. We took a snapshot, everyone got airdropped, and not one person ever lost a penny. This all came out of my pocket to make sure that everybody was repaid. So, I, it's so, but it was painful because you guys know that my mission is to help progress the space and I don't have to work anymore, but I choose to be here because I think that after you become financially free, you start looking for your meaning of life. And my meaning of life is to build decentralized applications. I truly believe that Commonwealth will be massive, that paid will be massive. And we're, we actually have pay it, plans for paid, so it's not only a bull market product. Plans for paid that are so big that plan to take on the whole industry as it evolves. Remember, in, Crypto is revolving beyond just utility tokens. We're talking about, I made these videos before, onboarding of trillions and trillions and trillions and hundreds of trillions in value, in value in tokenized assets, right? And paid and common, commonwealth both have long-term plans to be ready for those markets. Fluid will be one of the most used products by everybody. But imagine how I felt when people were calling me a scammer and things like that. So, you know, and... It really, it's been hard. And when you put yourself out there publicly, people are going to attack you, you know? And so if you choose to do that, be ready for that and you have to have thick skin. But anyway, I'm still here today. And again, my, my, my goal for this channel is to take everything that I've learned, guys, and I've made some amazing calls. Here you can see that this is a video I made of Colt Dow at $630,000. Percent uh, fees is going to take a while to generate serious revenue, but once it starts picking up, if you can imagine this something turning into something like SOS or Looks Rare or any other of these big DAOs that have more trading, and and just about a week or two after I made this video, it went from oh sorry you guys can't see that just about a week or two after I made this video, it went from six hundred thirty thousand dollar market cap to one hundred seventy eight million, and this was in a bear market, guys. I believe Colt DAO still is going to fly in this upcoming bull market. It hasn't had a chance yet, but. I likely will make a video exclusively on this uh, in a month or two. But, uh, but yeah, that made me realize, you know, and a lot of other people are afraid to make videos about small cap coins. I'm not because this is how life-changing money is made. And yes, they're far more risky, but people, if you invested, when I said, when I made this video, you would have done 220X, right? 200, 200, sorry, 282X, right? So if you would have put in like a thousand bucks, that would have turned into almost $300,000, right? You would have put in $10,000, it would have been worth $3 million. So this is the most important thing. And if you guys have been watching this channel recently, you know that we've been making insane calls, right? When, and like this VIP group that we have in Telegram, look at this. Uh, today, someone said, Kyle, we got to make a, we got to have a video next year about this community here. They're killing it. And yeah, this has 909 members. Guys, this is the VVIP group that I keep talking about. If you want to know how to get into this group, the, the instructions are in the description below. But in here has been insane. In like two months, we've made, I don't know, maybe eight or 10 calls that did anything between five and 25X. And uh, I, calls happen here first. And this Kyle, Alpha, this, these are my calls in here. But also, uh, you know, these are great trading calls in here. Uh, just people making tons of money. This, this is another trading channel where you can learn how to make, uh, you know, all these signals on how to trade um, or when some of the best traders tell you how to get, when to get in and out of trades, uh, on-chain plays, airdrop farming in general. So this is an amazing group. It makes me very, very happy to be here to see how many people are making so much money. And that is my goal for this channel is to help you guys grow. And you can see now that we have 85,000 subscribers here. I'm really, really thankful for this. Like, this is my dream coming true. And I'm so happy that so many of you guys are finding value from this. I, I, I genuinely want to see you guys crush it. I genuinely want to see you guys make a lot of money. And if you're in the VVIP group, I'm in there all the time answering questions. This is a direct line from, from me to you to be able to talk to each other. And 
we, we're going to continue to, you know, I have a research team of, of two right now. And if you guys are, if you guys are interested in joining the research team, let us know. Uh, you can, let's see, how can, how can you research? Uh, so reach out. Let's see. How, how do I do it? I'll, I'll put in the description, I'm going to put an email uh, of where you should reach out to if you, if you are a researcher. Now, if you want to become a researcher for the channel, um, and it's one of the best ways for you to get all the alpha so you can actually learn about these things before I make videos about them. Uh, but I, I will put an email in the description and below on, on who to reach out to. You must be in crypto for at least two years and you must be serious about this. And, uh, and then let me know. I'd be happy to have you guys. Uh, anyway, guys, I, I hope that you enjoyed my story. I just wanted to let you guys know who I am, where I've come from. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that I missed or anything that else you guys would like me to talk about. Again, welcome everybody who's new to the channel. Please feel free to share these videos with everyone, all your friends, your family. And if you made it this long to the video, I, I consider you guys a true fan of mine. And I really, from the bottom of my heart, deeply appreciate all you guys. I will catch you guys on Monday. Have a wonderful holidays. Uh, see you guys later. And a happy new year because I will see you on the first. Bye-bye.